Hi friends, it's Jocelyn here at the Lyon Township Public Library, and I'm here to show you how to log minutes of reading. Here we are on the Read Squared site, ltpl.readsquared.com. We're going to go here to log in and put in our login information. And it'll bring up our dashboard here, um, log. The first choice right here will bring up a chance to put in your uh, information. And you can put in a book title. It will give you some suggestions that they think you might be speaking of. So you can choose one. It'll automatically fill in the author for you. You can say whether or not you finished it. And you can put in how many minutes you read that this day. You can also go back and report reading for any day going back to June 1st. Uh, it doesn't have to be today that you choose. And if you don't want to include a book title or author, you can just insert the number of minutes that you read. You can add a review if you like. That'll get you 50 extra bonus points. And you're going to want to check off which of the readers in your family under your account read this book. So if I read it out loud to the rest of my family, I could check all of them. If I was just reading it to the baby, uh, we could just check those two. We hit submit and it lets us know that we have earned 30 points and that um, we also earned 30 points for the baby. It'll show you our total points here as well as our total points that, um, just of this month and our progress toward that 1000 point goal. Another way to log time is to go over here to the left-hand side menu and go to logging. It gives us all sorts of missions. Check out our mission video to find out how to do those. And it also lets you log time. Again, lets you choose what you want. It's going to put up the most recent book that you have logged time. And so if you're reading the same book a couple days in a row, that saves a little time putting that up there. You can't put more than 400 minutes uh, per day. Um, it will let you know you uh, you max that out, but um, you can choose another day and put your time down for another day if somehow you did read more than 400 minutes. You can also uh, post a review from here. You can say, um, for reviews, you're only going to want to choose one person. The review needs to be attributed either to your adult or to one of your uh, other family members. And you can take a look at your history for the things that you have logged reading in the past.